bit of a shorter news week this week, so we'll waste no time. Let's get right into it. On Monday, December 1st, ISAR Aerospace announced a signed contract with the European Space Agency to launch the Zendeo 3 mission out of ISAR's Andoya Space Complex in Q4 of 2026. Redwire is the prime contractor for the Zendeo 3 mission and will be seeing their Hammerhead spacecraft delivered courtesy of ISAR's Spectrum launch vehicle. This Belgian built spacecraft aggregates payloads from Spain, France, Germany, Italy, Luxembourg, and the European Commission. This mission will be Spectrum's second launch to date, following their 0.6 minute flight that took place back on March 30th. Spectrum is a German built two stage rocket with a 1,000 kilogram payload capacity and a $12 million price tag. With Redwire's hammerhead weighing in at a mere 175 kilograms, it leaves one to wonder if there might have been an alternative launch provider that's achieved orbit greater than zero times. On Tuesday, Ship4 Payments announced a 435 million euro tack-on offering of senior notes due 2033, alongside a multi-year partnership with Liberty Sports Group and Front Row Hospitality. This 435 million euro offering will appear as an increase of roughly 450 million US dollars to both Shift Force cash and debt, with proceeds intended to support general corporate purposes, including debt repayment, strategic acquisitions, growth initiatives, and potential share repurchases. Following the offering, we can expect to see Shift Force debt increase to 5.2 billion and the net liquidity to increase to 2 billion though this is heavily dependent on the brevity of the billion-dollar share repurchase plan that was announced during Q3 earnings. Turning to the Liberty Sports Group partnership, under the agreement, Shift 4 will provide SkyTab venue technology for integrated point-of-sale and guest experience solutions and will power payments for merchandising, retail, and e-commerce operations across Liberty's managed venues and client partners. Liberty Sports Group generates an estimated $1 to $5 million in revenue per year, so this isn't a huge win for Shift 4, but a win nonetheless. Next up, let's talk about a company that we don't talk about here often. That company is High Tide. For those unfamiliar, you could probably guess based on the name, this is a greenery company of sorts. Following the closure of a majority stake in German-based licensed medical importer and distributor Remexian Pharma GmbH back in September, High Tide has officially entered the European storefront market, opening their first branded retail store right in the heart of Berlin Mitte, bringing their overall store count to 216. Now, High Tide are by no means a fast-growing company in comparison to other names in the portfolio like EOS Energy, Rocket Lab, or even Shift 4. But with a price to sales of 0.5, a high single digit free cash flow yield, and a dollar per square footage to make not just industry competitors envious, but external retailers as well, High Tide is well deserving of the spot that it takes in the portfolio. Finally, we have several pieces of news for Rocket Lab, including insider selling, electron manifest updates, and some new insight into Rocket Lab's nearly closed acquisition of Minaric but those will have to wait until tomorrow's episode of Rocket Lab Weekly, which goes live at 5 p.m. Eastern. To view and download the valuation models we cover on the channel, including Rocket Lab, Redwire, Shift4, and EOS Energy, be sure to check out the Patreon, which is linked in the description below. These include everything from financials, key performance indicators, insider ownership, and of course, price targets. Not only will these save you dozens of hours worth of research, but also go a long way to support the channel. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment for which of the companies we covered today you think will outperform 2026. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for Rocket Lab Weekly.